Right. Hello, people. Today is something slightly different. I bought this little beauty off a guy at work. There's my other little beauty. Um, 600 quid. It's a bit tatty, but hopefully Hopefully, today it's going to pass its MOT so I can bring it back to life out on the open road. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, what is it, year 2000? GSXR 600 S Rad, obviously in red and black. It was running rough when I first got it. Well, I say when I first, I've had it probably two weeks now. Um, it was lowered on the suspension, so you're scraping your ass on the floor. Um, what am I going to do with that? Yeah, this ain't going well. In the pocket, fuck it. Um, yeah, so you're scraping your ass on the floor, so I had to put new. Well, I say new off of eBay, got some new dog bones to lift it up. So yeah, first insured for nine o'clock this morning. It's now about our past. Got no tax, no MOT, but I'm on my way to a pre-booked MOT. So, I should be legal. There's my other bike. And the wraps and the messes. I'll set these mirrors up. A bit better. <laughs> and <laughs> off we go. Yeah, so I haven't vlogged for a while. I've been on uh, been on holiday to Cape Verde, on the west coast of uh, off the west coast of South Africa. Um, went there with my wife for a week. Gorgeous. Got some lovely snorkeling in. Perhaps I'll put a video of that up as well. Yeah, had a gorgeous week, went on a few excursions and that, out on a catamaran and 4x4 four four adventure and stuff like that and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was really good, excellent, food was good, hotel was good, staff were excellent, looked after everything you wanted, 
Um, yeah, can't fault it. Gosh, it's totally different to my 1250. <laughs> So yeah, great holiday, great times, but obviously just over a week away from the bikes and uh, just seem to have had so much to do recently, I haven't been out doing any video work. Strange little beast this is. There's not much low down, but when you get in them higher revs, it starts yanking on your arms really nicely. Which, um, for 600, I'm a little bit surprised about, to be honest. Oh dear, I want to stay <laughs> Is that Pinky? Where's Perky then? No, I think... I think for £600, I mean initially I thought I'd need a new cam chain adjuster which was like another 80 quid from Suzuki's um, but there's a manual one fitted so I've adjusted that whether I've done it right or not, I don't know. Just kicks into life, it's uh, a bit of a beast in them top revs. Obviously first I need to get a, an MOT and some tacks. Yeah, so uh, mainly adjusted the um, the cam chain, um, which took all the noise out of it. I mean, it really did sound like a diesel engine with the unadjusted chain. Um, took all that noise out of it, um, and then pretty much it was just running fresh petrol through um, to clean it up, which. Uh, as you can tell, there's no no hesitation there, no coughing and spluttering like there was before. Um, so the only thing now is to take it through its MOT. Cough, fuck me. It's just bouncing all over the little smallest of bumps. I'll have to adjust the suspension up a bit, but the throttle response is beautiful. I mean, year 2000, so what, 14 years old, and the life it's got, it's unbelievable. Yeah, here we go. TPGs, insure them. Switch MOT.
Morning. Well, just picked the bike up from the MOT. Passed. One advisory, back brake needs bleeding. Apart from that, it's got an MOT. So, go home and get on the computer and get, get some tax. then go and uh, have a play. <laughs> oh, 